us confirm that we're live. And we should be. Nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream, our second live stream today. Earlier this morning, uh, we did a live stream on the extradition hearing of Julian Assange, a cause to celebrate, a cause to uh, get ready for the next phase, right? And tonight it is 9.30 p.m. Pacific time, Eastern time, January 4th, 2021. And we're doing a meditation live stream. This is our third meditation live stream. And what we're gonna do is uh, just do the standing Qigong meditation again, which is basically the first one we did was on December 17th, 2020. And I've done it every day since, okay. And it's been 14, so one, two, three, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 days in a row, right? One of these, one of the days was sort of a cheat day. I didn't hold the posture as long as I could. I cut it a little bit short, but I'm gonna count it, okay? So 19 days right 15 16 17 18 19 days well today will be our 19th day and when we started i was holding the posture for uh, about 15 minutes maladrastu how are you doing cheers cheers i was holding i held the posture for about 14 minutes and i'm up to about 30 minutes plus or minus a couple of minutes now which is fantastic scotty dale 98 hello hello hi i'm scared why are you scared don't be scared crack how are you doing i've been checking out some of the comics you're picking up and reading fantastic stuff man uh zara how are you doing good evening i already did my meditation for the evening but i'm glad to be here awesome zara awesome i was really busy i had students and we we're doing a julian assange stream and stuff and i like doing it in the evenings uh calms me down clears the mind process the information try to become neutral right the when they f5 f5 i think how do you do that wow i've been watching you on youtube for a while glad i could catch a stream awesome glad to have you glad to have you here i'm not sure how to pronounce your name brother or sister of course elder god 14 minutes and 44 seconds i've done up to 32 minutes now and in general last few days i've been between 25 to 30 minutes okay the longest i held it was 32 minutes which is fantastic crack thanks chicho it's been some great reading oh it looks like great and amazing art as well i just had my cbd drink for the night and feeling very relaxed this will just be the topper awesome crack awesome crack yeah i'm winding down as well so very much looking forward uh, to doing the meditation of it really i would have done it earlier if we weren't doing a live stream i needed to ground so it was it was going to be great it's just 25 in weird lettering oh it's 25 in weird lettering awesome 25 glad that you made it to our live stream awesome 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 sorry bummed i missed the song stream after the news broke this morning but we'll talk about that another we'll talk about that another time and i've been up since like three o'clock this morning so i'm up to i'm up to 18 hours right now because i was digesting all the news coming in uh from the case uh and following up and stuff like that and we had the live the live stream went really well really enjoyed the conversation uh scotty dale 98 any advice to i'm um, guy who just turned 30 what to expect body wise and any tips okay body wise uh scotty uh, first order of business build muscle mass okay build up your strength make sure you're doing it with proper posture super ridiculously important okay after a certain time as you get older it becomes harder to build body mass unless you're uh compensating with a lot of protein and all the god knows about this and whatnot right uh change your diet after improve your diet uh change your diet for sure 
but improve your diet 100% diet has a huge part to play in this uh, Rob Ross five how are you doing how's it going you doing fantastic Rob doing really good you're entering your prime brother yeah 30 is a, is, 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 is a great age man 40 is a great 50 is a great age I haven't made it to 60 yet I'll let you know how 60 turns out <laughs> all right uh, if you get injuries work your way out of it right after 35 meat and most dairy are out for me really sorry I'm still uh, I'm still okay with dairy man yogurt is fantastic great for the tummy gang as for my quick intro I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho Emily how are you doing uh, chy cho if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about which is layered on mathematics patreon is a great place to be I don't put anything beyond paywall everything creative commons share and share like if you like what you see and if you have the means supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure we continue with it to do what it is that we are doing for those of you who've been supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat Twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are supporting this work on Twitch by following subscribing uh, uh, bits participating in the conversation uh, redeeming points uh, sending love uh, discussing your perspective on the world and for the moss for taking care of business thank you very much for the support and it is in large part because of your support as well that we're able to do this work right Emily you're so peaceful I like how calming this is thank you my pleasure Emily and I it's the only thing that keeps me going I've learned how to wind down right and I wind up for not every little bit of noise that comes my way important stuff right Scotty Dale thanks for your sponsor my pleasure Scotty and I'm pretty sure you get all the replies from other people as well. Rob Ross five, my boyfriend introduced me to your channel. And I absolutely love your content. Awesome, Rob Ross. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. I love sharing, love creating this content. Really, it's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And when the technocrats and the centralized power try to prevent us from sharing information, <laughs> we need to kick it up a notch, right, Emily? Oof, I'm okay um, how is everyone interesting discussion in discord I enjoyed reading through it all laugh out loud I hope everyone as well indeed 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 our discord is the conversations are fantastic I, I can't read everything but <laughs> I am following some of them lurking a little bit <laughs> diet like how are we doing hey brother uh, Ricky Mountain White Wolf Rocky Mountain White Wolf Ricky Mountain, Rocky Mountain, White, White Wolf. How are you doing, White Wolf? Intermittent fasting working well for me. I'm 50. Awesome. Fasting, I highly recommend as well. Really. Uh, I haven't done it as much as I would like. I will do it more often, but I've done it a few times. Fantastic. Okay. Jung G5. Hello from Chicago. Hello, Chicago. I've been to your city. Great ribs. I finally caught a live stream awesome glad to have you sorry i've only been um seeing chicho out of asmr mode a couple of times but from what i've seen he's very energetic and electric thank you Zara. uh another hero of the people rocky mountain white wolf uh elder god says scotty dale 98 which era was the most fun for you 80s or 90s i'm just curious look gang um uh, fun is a funny word all right um 80s was carefree i was in my teens early 20s right i didn't have much to much too much responsibilities you let loose 90s gang i can honestly tell you uh the 90s were insanely insane the iron curtain had come down and there was a sort of a and the threat of nuclear war was gone because in the 80s it was this whole threat in the nuclear war uh so it was a very carefree time in the 90s where people were celebrating right there was a lot of chaos as well 
Cheers from Kansas City. Hello, Kansas City. I haven't been to your part and your neck of the woods yet. Do you use any supplements to maintain mass? Uh, I hope that's uh, for... Did, 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 uh, who mentioned that? Scotty, I think. Uh, I, as far as mass, me, no. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Hi, yo, from Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Hello, hello, Ohio. How are you doing? I haven't been to Columbus either. <laughs> I went to a few parts of the U.S. Please come to the Lyric Stream tomorrow. Lyric Stream tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern Time. How about them chefs? Uh, chiefs, not chefs. Chiefs. Gang, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LO Minds, VK Gap, and Twitter. And we do have a Discord page where people are sharing a fair bit of information. You can come to our Twitch channel anytime in the chat, type in exclamation mark social, social, and the links to these social platforms will pop up, including our Discord page, where we have a few hundred people sharing as much information as possible. Kebabs, good news on Assange, indeed, indeed. Zare, I love the 90s. I was in my young teens, alternative rock, skateboarding, staying up forever, smoking shitty weed, the full old days. Well, I can tell you, cannabis in my part of the world was fantastic in the 90s. Uh, since the 80s, it's been fantastic ever since I've been here, <laughs> right? Which is the 80s, uh, late night, late 70s, but I didn't partake until the 80s. Um, as far as uh, fantastic time, indeed, the uh, nighttime raves, the electronic music that was kicking up, uh, the it was fun. Have you heard of JC McCollum? I haven't, I don't think so. Chief Street, killing it for sure. Good old BC, but indeed. Uh, uh, the United States categorized BC as a narco state at some at one point in the 90s, like in the early 2000s. <laughs> Insanity. No one from Wisconsin. Mm, Wisconsin. Anybody from Wisconsin? For live streams, when we don't do any demonstrations or have visuals, we upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, as a podcast, and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. And we will be uploading the stream to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you're on those platforms, you can subscribe, you can share, you can like, you can support this work by turning on notifications, guaranteed to get your notifications on BitChute, not so much through YouTube, okay? But you are, if you are on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. And there's a button here somewhere. And uh, there's a handful of people supporting this work through YouTube membership. And thank you very much for the support, gang. It is because of the support we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing and it's going to see us into the future okay thanks for being here gang let's get into meditation let's get into meditation okay howdy chicho hello rip john nova how are you doing welcome to another live stream evening chicho evening feline juice hello hello i have my, my i have more toilet paper how are you doing i haven't seen you for a bit my first intro to bud was bc bud it ruined me for life because nothing else is the same no no greetings blessings dr p i have a lot of stories to tell about that uh the bc experience uh, should i tell you one of them really speedy gonzalez let's get into meditation Emily, I think about the fact that we could all die in a matter of minutes due to the nuclear weapons. A weird thought. I can't imagine living in a time uh, the threat of that was even more scary. Yeah, in the 80s, they were pushing it hardcore. Really, it was insane. Like, there was TV series coming out, <laughs> movies coming out, nuclear winter and accidental nuclear war and it was insane so just imagine the stress built up and then all of a sudden the eastern block collapses iron curtain comes down just imagine the energy that was let loose where people just celebrated unfortunately there was a lot of chaos still happening right but in general uh people took their eyes off the prize and parties for a decade Zara, oh the additional bookshelf looks real yeah i added i added just for you guys know i added this bookshelf here the top one uh a few days ago 
okay and i rearranged my books and stuff i opened up a box and sort of sorted things out again right i'm gonna be adding a couple more uh, arranging the box elder god youtube has put i thank zari <laughs> YouTube has put channels I have followed for years in the low decks in search. Now, yeah, they're probably not even searchable. Can you show a picture of young, of young you back in the day? Not right now. Uh, at some point, I will. Sure. Uh, I had a lot more hair on top of my head. <laughs> Isn't the nuclear treaty with Russia about to expire? Dave, uh, and in the last two decades since Bush, Obama, and Trump, they've they've uh, eliminated a lot of the weapons treaties that they've had so it's been wrapped up and one of the reasons was Obama kicked it up right he said they're gonna spend a trillion dollars or something like that to update their nuclear weapons arsenal diet diet what do you utilize this meditation for uh, for grounding right for grounding Baal Assange elder God gang let's do this okay let's do the meditation and this is round three the i started this meditation on december 17th and i've done it every day and right now is january 4th so this is going to be the 19th day in a row what you want to do is do this consistently every day for as long as you can and you want to reach about uh, the level of like about an hour a day okay when are we meditating i'm going to give you instructions right now and about it's going to take like three minutes to do the instructions and then we're going to get into it right now this is the third video right i did a video on december 17th and then follow up on december 18th i believe or 19th or something like this right where i gave the full instructions and if you go to our youtube channel i've created a meditation playlist and it's also linked up with the nasmr and we have a martial arts playlist as well so i've linked it up in, the, in there as well with qigong and tai chi and stuff like this demonstrations uh, where I recorded and, um, a while ago I went to a celebration and there was a lot of masters doing a lot of a uh, lot of demonstrations right so I'm adding these in there as well because it is part of Qigong part of Tai Chi okay but we do have a meditation playlist you can see what we've done there's only this is this will be the third video we're going to upload and most likely it'll be uploaded there in a couple of days um, on uh, YouTube and it will be on BitChute as well. I haven't created playlists on BitChute yet, but it will be there. Here's the meditation. It's called Standing Qigong Meditation. And here's how we go about it. Let me turn on this other camera that we have. Okay. Ba -ba -da -da -bum -bum -bum. I'm gonna turn, where are we? Let me turn that on, let me turn this on and I'm gonna kick this out, okay? So you have to sort of see my feet as well because I'm going to show you what this is like. Uh, and my apologies if I'm not going to follow the chat. Okay. So the way you do this is this, this meditation. Okay. What you want to do is have your feet. Okay. Pointing straight out as straight out as possible. You don't want your feet like this. You don't want your feet like this. Okay. You want it to be sort of in a weight lifting type of posture that's the way i'm doing it okay so you want to be in this position with your toes pointing forwards with your knees being straight you don't want your knees to be like this your knees to be like this either right you want to be your feet as wide as your shoulders basically okay and what you're going to do is when you're pointing forward your feet as wide as your shoulders you're going to bend down a little bit okay so you're gonna bend your knees now you don't want to go over where your knees are past your toes because that's gonna put stress on your knees and you don't want stress on the knees okay so in weightlifting this is what you do as well you don't go over your toes because what that's gonna do is gonna lift up your heels and you're not grounded and it's gonna put pressure on the front of your feet which is going to do a fair bit of damage to you if you're doing weightlifting if you're holding a position like this being like this is not a good idea you want to be grounded you want to be flat you want to be able to or your body will adjust distribute the weight on your whole feet right so you're gonna put toes pointing forward knees bent this is the posture you're going to be right now 
The other thing you're gonna do is, here, let me show you this. Your hips, you don't want your hip, your bum to be out like you're weightlifting, right? So you're not gonna make your back a plank and go down as if you're doing deadlift with your butt out. What you wanna do is you want your hip to be sort of a neutral position and sort of bent forward, sort of uh, tilted forward a little bit where you're giving your uh, tailbone, your lower back, a little bit of opening, right? So you're gonna go like this, bend your knees, and you're not like this, you're like this, right? And you're gonna be straight out, right? Like this. And you're gonna imagine yourself a rope hanging from the top of your head, right? So you wanna imagine your spine stretching, right? And you basically wanna imagine yourself being suspended from the top of your head, so it's going up your spine, top of your head, by a string. And that's going to automatically stretch you. So that's what you're picturing yourself as, right? And you're not going to be, you don't want your neck to be forward like this, right? If you're, if you're being suspended from a string, you're going to be like this, right? So you want your chin, you don't want your chin to be like this, sticking out, right? You don't want your neck forward. You want your chin to be nicely in a neutral tucked in position and you're hanging from a string from the top of your head okay and what you're going to do is you're going to be in a bent position like this right knees knees bent hip sort of going like this right and here let me go forward so you see this right knees sort of going like this you're not like this you're like this right hanging from the top of your head and you're going to bring your hands up to shoulder shoulder level right your wrists are sort of neutral they're not hanging like this right i'll show you this but you're basically like this your elbows are bent you don't want to be up like this you want to be sort of neutral so that's the position you're holding on a sideways look right so you're going like this. Front ways, this is what it's going to look like, right? My toes pointing forward, knees bent, right? And you're going to take a breath. You're going to bring your arms up, right? And right now, my hands are sort of shoulder level, right? If the camera was a little bit higher, even with me, you would see it. The camera right now, you're... It looks like my hands are above my shoulders. They're not. They're here, right? It's just a depth perception that the reason it looks like my hands might be higher, right? And my wrists are not like this, and I'm not going to hold them like this. I want them sort of to be a neutral, right? I've caught myself sort of pulling my thing, thumbs up every now and then, but you want to relax that, right? And you're going to be holding this posture. Remember, you're hanging from a string from the top of your head, right? And what you wanna do, and your chin in, and what you wanna do is hold this position for as long as possible. Now there's two ways you can do this. If this is new for you, keep your eyes open, find a point straight in front of you and focus on it, right? So you wanna possibly focus on a point right in front of you, hopefully eye height with you hanging from a string, okay? Or you can close your eyes. Now, if you're not used to doing this, if you close your eyes, you might tilt over, really, right? I tend to close my eyes. I do open them up every now and then just to do a little check, right? I'm doing it now, but I'm doing it less and less, right? I'm gonna reach a point where I'm gonna have my eyes closed throughout my full session, okay? And that's what we're gonna do right now. Now, when I started this uh, on December 17th, like 19 days ago, I held, Elder God kept the record of it, I held for 14 minutes or 45 seconds or 44 seconds, right? Right now, I'm holding it in general between 25 to 30 minutes. The max I hit was 32 minutes. 
So I'm holding it, you know, 30 minutes plus or minus or 28 minutes plus or minus. And what you're going to notice when you're holding this posture is your body is going to start doing minor adjustments, right? And so you might not always be in this position. You might do a little tilt like this, right? And then your body will adjust and you'll do this. And the adjustments occur for me anyway, from the hip area, from the bottom first and then they start slowly working your way up your spine right the longer you hold it the higher up the adjustments occur and you'll get little adjustments in your feet in your hands and whatnot in your neck let the adjustments occur that's your body compensating for you standing in a certain position and doing minor adjustments and what you might feel is certain parts of you might start shaking right because those are muscles that you haven't been using right and now that you're using them and where what you're gonna feel is you should feel burning on your thighs okay you'll feel a little bit on your ass when you're holding your arms up you feel on your shoulders and the back and different places you're gonna feel a little burning a little bit of stress as you hold right you're gonna go through waves what I tend to do when I go through a wave where it's getting really stressful to hold it, I breathe through that stress, okay? And then it subsides the pain or the burning. And then you hit a low, you can relax, your mind can go into neutral or start processing some information that you've been trying to process. And then the stress level comes up. Now, for me, in the last 18 days, what I've been doing is doing basically three or four different types of breathing. One of the breathings I've been doing is doing breathing from the stomach. So when I'm breathing in, I'm going, I'm pulling in from the bottom, right? So I go, I push my stomach out. Now, I'm not doing this all the time. I'm doing this either working through the stress period or the tension period, right? So I breathe. and then push in to pull out, uh, blow out the air. Sometimes I'm breathing through the chest, right? Sometimes I'm doing reverse breathing where when I'm breathing in, I'm pulling my stomach in, right? So I'm going, and then when I'm breathing out, I'm pushing my tummy out, right? And same with the chest, right? Or I'm breathing in through the tummy and then going all the way up and then breathing back down again. And that has the effect for me to do additional adjustments on the spine, on the hips, on the arms, on the shoulders, on the back or whatever is happening. Okay, So I'm giving you the lowdown of how I've been dealing with this meditation for the last 18 days or so, 19th day today. Okay, Aside from that, Let's get into it. I'm gonna have a little bit of sip of water, okay? And I have a glass of water ready because after the meditation, I'm gonna drink water, okay? You, you're you building tension in your muscles. There's lactic, lactic acid that's building up or whatever it is, you need to flush that out, right? So we're gonna get into it. We'll see how long we hold this for. And here we go, okay? check on your body make sure you're in a proper position
interrupt anyone that's still holding if they're doing it awesome i usually when i'm holding the position towards the end initially sometimes i get a little bit of shaking the first time i did it uh where we did it i was getting the shaking in the right hand really early on and then it would subside and while i've been doing it i've been hitting the shaking towards the end but i've been trying to breathe through it where it stabilizes but it wasn't stabilizing this time and it wasn't going to stabilize i could tell like i did my breathing and stuff and basically it had reached a point where i had to release so it went 33 minutes and 37 seconds awesome record on this run yeah awesome gang awesome super good feels amazing oh my god feels so good so good really <laughs> thanks for the love man i need to accept Awesome, awesome. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Very fun, man. Very fun. 19 days. 19 days. Oh. And I usually, I'm usually doing a stretch afterwards. But before I get into my stretch, I just wanted to check in and then. Uh, We'll call the stream and then I'm gonna get into my stretches a little bit. And water. Salut gang. And after the fact, later on when i walk around i will definitely feel it in my legs where i'll get a little bit of shaking going on okay so it's perfect basically used up uh, the muscles work them to a full capacity which is fantastic water is my best friend at the moment yeah elder god you're going dry brother water and tea but yeah water Qigong meditation, day 19, 33 minutes and 37 seconds. We're going to continue this. Every now and then I'll check back. I'm going to continue to do it every day. And every now and then in the sets, we'll do another meditation. Things you do by yourself. Spend your lunch time at work, eating in a car, and watch a grown man meditate while contemplating your whole life on Twitch. <laughs> Diet duck. <laughs> tea, but I can't have a lot of caffeine. Yeah, herbal tea. Uh, I've been drinking some uh, rose and mint tea. Uh, yesterday, all day, we were just drinking rose and... Oh, well, not all day, half the day. A rose and mint tea. And it, it was super good, super good, super good, super good gang let's call the stream okay we got i think three more streams coming up if i recall correctly we got uh tomorrow we got music lyrics stream at 9 p.m pst pacific time my time on wednesday we got a current events uh, I can't remember what time. I think in the morning, maybe. Okay. And then on Thursday, I believe we're doing a Chicho Salvia de Menorum Chronicles. Excited for music lyrics. Yeah, me too. Me too. Bring lyrics, gang. Bring lyrics. Okay. I got mine picked out. I just got to print them off. And I'm, 
I'm a little privileged. I'm going to read the full, all the lyrics for two songs. So I got two songs picked out. Happy tunes could be heavy lyrics, but it's happy tunes. I have 32 choices. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> awesome. Looking forward to them, man. Looking forward to them. Gang. I hope you have a fantastic evening if you're in the evening i hope you have a fantastic morning day if you're in the morning and the day okay wherever you are i hope you're having a fantastic start to your 2021 okay and if you can make it we got three more days of live streaming going possibly a surprise live stream if we get a comic book haul coming in yeah no exactly no harshness in the lyrics chill just let's keep it to a certain degree happy even though if it's heavy with a happy tune 7 40 a.m here it's time to go to work white shock white shock i hope you have a good time at work okay and i hope you have a good breakfast gang thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed the meditation if you're participating and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for music lyrics. Bye everyone.